Hey friends, it's John Asraf, New York Times bestselling author of The Answer and Having It All. And you may have seen me in the smash hit movie The Secret or The Quest for Success with the Dalai Lama and Richard Branson. Now here's a question for you. Have you ever thought to yourself that you're not smart enough or that you're not good enough or that you don't have the knowledge or the skills to achieve your biggest goals and dreams? I can share with you that I used to have those exact thoughts and beliefs about myself. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can start to have unstoppable confidence and certainty in yourself so you can become a powerhouse, a person who can not just set goals but achieve whatever goals you choose in your life. Now many years ago, when I was on the Ellen DeGeneres show, I was in the green room with Minnie Driver. And Minnie Driver is a Hollywood celebrity who everybody knows around the world if you watch a little bit of television. And I asked Minnie a question. I asked her, how is it that you can take a script that your agent gives you and how do you become the role so that you can either win an Academy Award or an Oscar or any of the awards that they give actors and actresses? And she said to me, she said, John, nobody's really ever asked me that question. And so let me share with you what she told me that I think will help you understand what it's going to take for you to not just set goals but for you to achieve your goals. She said to me that once she gets the script, she reads it three, four, five times to see if it's really what she wants to trade her life for. Then she says when she accepts the script and the contract that her agent obviously connects her with the studios with, she then goes by a process of practice, drill and rehearse. And what does that mean? Well, what it means is she takes hours every single day to practice her role in the script. She does research on the role and then once she thinks then feels that she has the role really well felt in her emotional self, she then moves that to the camera. Now, why does that process work? Well, the reason the process works is because when we have a goal that we look at once or twice or three times, our brains really forget what the goals are unless we get it to go from the conscious, aware part of our personality and our psyche and into the unconscious, implicit part of our brain and psyche. Through rehearsal, through practiced repetition, through practice drilling and rehearsing every single day, what you do is you set up a new neural pathway in your brain, a new pattern for your brain to not only emotionalize, but a new pattern for your brain to have you think about, a new pattern for your brain to have you look for, a new pattern for your brain to get your physical body to move into action towards. And so if you want to achieve your goals and dreams, write out your script and then every single day what I want you to do is read the script, visualize and see yourself already being in the role, having achieved what you want to achieve instead of just having the goal written on a piece of paper. What I want you to also do is I want you to practice being that role. If your role is about being healthier, then I want you to visualize it. I want you to read it. I want you to look at whatever you've written or whatever you have cut out in a magazine or from any other source to be able to create a collage of that goal or that dream that you have for yourself. And then every day I want you to take action towards that and practice that role until you and the goal and the dream become one. You have to go from the I want part to the I am part. And the more you could bridge the gap between what you want and who you are, the more you'll be able to create an Academy Award winning performance in your own life. The more you integrate your vision with your emotions, with your actions, the more you will become the role, the more you will become the person who sets goals and achieves goals. If you do what most people do, 
You'll set goals and never really emotionalize them. You'll set goals and never really take actions consistently towards them. But if you thought about becoming a Hollywood actor or actress and you were gonna be paid a million or five million or ten million dollars to be that role, guess what you would do? You'd practice, you'd drill, and you'd rehearse in private and in public so that you and your goal become one. And that's when you start to act and think and feel every single day the way you need to act and think and feel until you achieve your goals and dreams.